با درود مجدد خدمت شما دانشجویان محترم محمد مرفوی هستم مدرس این دوره و با آخرین قسمت از درس پنجم در خدمتون هستم لسن دی یونیت 5 لسن دی The World's Favorite Snacks Let's see how many different snacks can you think of and which ones are popular in your country Let's uh, think of different snacks in different countries. For example, I'm thinking of my favorite snack. Uh, can you guess what it is? Uh, all right. My favorite snack is like jiaozi, uh, which we have it here. Jiaozi is like, uh, and also it is a different. It has a different meaning, like baozi. Uh, it's a Chinese snack. which is my favorite and uh, you will see it the first snack here it's like baozi which is baozi or jiaozi both are uh, two different chinese snacks very similar but different what is your your favorite snack or what are your favorite snacks okay you can name your snacks whatever Let's read the article and what snacks have you heard of and how have you tried any of them? Okay, we have four snacks here, I, I, I think, yeah, five. Five snacks here. And so after I read, I want, I want you to tell me uh, if you've heard or if you've tried any of them. Snacks around the world. Bows. Bows are delicious themed or baked Bonds with a variety of fillings, such as spicy meats, sweet bean, pickles, or custard. First of all, bun, round shape of bread. I mean, uh, it is called bun. And also fillings, when you say, when you do it, when you write it like F-I-L-I, you mean something inside something else, right? A, fa uh, a favorite in many Asian countries. They are delicious at any meal, even breakfast. Although they have been popular for over 2,000 years. And people are, people are still coming up with new ideas for fillings. Like scramble eggs or coconut. So I told you I have tried it before in China. And it's like baoji, it's pronounced like this. And another... Uh, another kind of this kind of snacks is called jiaozi. Let's go to Muchi ice cream. In the 1980s, a Japanese company showed the world a great new way to eat ice cream. They wrapped little ice cream balls in colorful sheets or sticky rice called muchi or mochi, both. You can hold these little treats in your hand as you eat them and the ice cream won't melt on your fingers. Now popular in many countries, frozen mochi ice cream comes in flavors like green tea, chocolate and mango. And flavor means the taste. Next one is dolma, which is... Before before uh, I had read it here, I thought it is um, I mean a Persian a Persian snack, but it seems it's like from Turkey. It's a Turkish snack. Popular throughout Mediterranean countries, dolma are particular uh, dolma are particularly popular as a snack food in Turkey. The best known dolma are grape leaves. Stuffed, filled, stuffed means filled, with tasty ground meat fillings or rice with herbs and spices and a few nuts. In Turkish, dolmak means stuffed. Freshly steamed dolma are delicious with yogurt. Next one, flavored popcorn. People never uh, never get tired of popcorn. Native Americans first ate popcorn over 2,000 years ago and the people around the world still love it today. But, but 
It's ready made or cook or cook it in a little oil until it pops. Or make your own microwave popcorn and add your own flavors. How about a little cheese chocolate, a little cheese, chocolate or caramel on yours? Some even more creative flavors are baked potato, curry and taco. What new popcorn flavor can you think of? And the last one is empanadas. Empanadas. If you're in Latin America and you're looking for a quick snack, chances are you're not far from an empanada stand. Somewhere that they are selling empanada. Originally from Spain, empanadas are baked or deep-fried pastries that have a variety of different fillings depending on the region. Traditional fillings often have meat and potatoes or meat with spices, chopped onion, egg, olives, and raisins. In Southern Europe, they often have a fish filling and they make a great snack at any time of the day. All right. Have you ever tried any of these? I myself, I tried uh, this bauji, mochi ice cream, and dolma. And also this popcorn. Not this one. Not this empanadas. How about you? Have you tried any of these snacks? You can answer, say yes, I have tried, and bring the names and add the names. Or just say no, I haven't tried any of them. Let's read the article again and complete the chart for each snack. We had five snacks like uh, Baus, Mochi ice cream, Dolma, flavored popcorn and panadas, right? And right popular were cooked or how? How about ingredients? What they use to make it? and also the flavors. You can pause the video, read the article again and try to do it, okay? I do number one, uh, so number two, number one is done. The name of snack is Baos. It is popular in Asia. It is steamed and baked and the ingredients are spicy meats and uh, the flavors are like uh, spicy meat and sweet bean. Let's go to, uh, uh -huh. we can add more here, like pickles, custard, scrambled eggs, coconut, right? Let's go to the name of the second one, which is mochi ice cream. Mochi ice cream, right? It's uh, popular in Japan, no more, no many countries. Sorry, it's, I should bring it here. Okay. It's popular in Japan. Cooked. No, it's not cooked. And the ingredients are like ice cream. Ice cream. Sticky rice. Green tea. The flavors are like green tea and chocolate and mango. Mango. The third one is Dolma. Popular were Turkey. Cooked. How? Steamed, right? And the ingredients like vegetable. Vegetables. Sorry, this there is okay. Vegetables, grape leaves, ground meats, rice, herbs, and nuts. Okay, I don't write it. 
So for number three, I, I don't write uh, the last two ones, so I just say them. I just tell you, you know, what to write. Number th uh, number four is like flavored popcorn, popular around the world, cooked how, cooked in oil, or microwave, and the ingredients like cheese, chocolate, caramel, baked potato, curry, and taco. And empanadas, Latin, uh, it's in Latin America, Spain, and Southern Europe. Latin America, Spain, Southern Europe, baked and deep fried. And the ingredients are like meat, potatoes, meat with the spices, chopped onion, egg, olives, raisins, and fish. Okay, let's go to snack habits, the listening part. Have you ever tried, I mean, have you tried any of snacks below? Like hummus, nachos, edamame, edamame, I think it's like edamame, and chocolate chip cookies. Have you tried any of these snacks below and which countries do you think they come from originally? Can you guess? So hummus, very strange names, nachos, this one and chocolate chip cookies. Okay, you can guess. Now let's go to part B. How would the three people answer the questions, complete the chart? They're talking about these snacks. Zoe, Josh, and Kate. You have to say, what's your favorite snack? When do you eat it? Do you think it's healthy? And do you know how to make it? All right, let's listen and try to complete the chart. Page 51. Lesson D. The world's favorite snacks. 2. Listening and speaking. Snack habits. B. Listen. How would the three people answer the questions? Complete the chart. Zoe. We like to eat healthy food, so we always have lots of fresh fruits and vegetables in the house. Healthy snacks, too, like nuts and yogurt. But my favorite snack is definitely nachos. My husband makes the best nachos. So yeah, we love to sit down and watch baseball with a big plate of nachos. We always keep a few packages of chips in the cabinet so we can make some. And he puts a few tomatoes and a little melted cheese on top and some sour cream. They're so good. Yeah. They're pretty filling, though. Sometimes they're enough and we don't need dinner. And they're probably a little fattening. Kind of high in calories. But that's okay, I guess. It's nice to have a treat occasionally. Hmm. Maybe I'll make some tonight. Josh. I love cookies. Chocolate chip are my favorite. I love to eat them in bed at night when I watch TV. The problem is, if I open a package of cookies, I can't put them down. I just want to eat them all. And that's not good for you, I know. I mean, cookies generally aren't very good for you anyway. But yeah, they remind me of when I was a kid. My sister and I used to make them. I never have time to make them now. I'm just too busy. And actually, I don't remember how to make them. So, yeah, I just buy a small package every week and try to have one or two a night. It's a treat. Kate. One thing I like to eat is a lot of raw vegetables. Like, if I'm hungry when I come home from work, you know, 
it's easy to just grab something like cookies or something that's not very healthy. So, you know, I always keep something healthy in the refrigerator, like hummus. Actually, that's my favorite snack. And if it's like too early for dinner, I just cut up a few carrots to dip into it. I always buy tubs of it from the supermarket. I don't actually know the recipe for hummus. I've never made it. Okay, very good. So, let's see what's their favorite snacks. First, Zoe. What's her favorite snack? Very good, nachos. Nachos. How about Josh? Very good, chocolate chip. Chocolate chip cookies. And Kate, hummus, very good. Now, uh, when do they eat it? I mean, when does Zoe eat it? Very good, while watching baseball. While watching baseball. It is watching, okay. And uh, does she think it's healthy? No. And does she know how to make it? Yes, she does. So, Josh, he loves uh, chocolate chip cookies. When does he eat it? Before bed and while watching TV, right? Before bed and while watching TV. And does he think it's healthy? Of course, no. And uh, does he know how to make it? Again, no. He doesn't remember it now. How about Kate? When does she eat it? After work and before dinner, right? After work before dinner is it healthy i mean does she think it's healthy yes and does she know how to make it hell no just zoe knows how to how to make nachos not anybody else okay let's go to the writing you, you should definitely try it it's very amazing for you if you want to write about an Iranian or a Persian snack or a Persian food. Let's see how uh, what do like, for example, and such as give examples of. If you want to give an example of something, you can introduce examples with like, for example, and such as. Let's see how to use them. If you, if you visit Thailand, you should try some of the delicious desserts, like sweets, uh, like, see, you're introducing something for giving examples, like sweet sticky rice. People often eat it as an afternoon snack with tea or for desserts. You can order it in a restaurant or buy it on the street at a food stand. There are many types of sweet sticky rice. For example, people make black sticky rice with special type of wild rice and they also make sticky rice with corn. You can put different toppings on sweet sticky rice such as coconut custard, fresh coconut cream and fresh mangoes. Whenever you are giving you are going to give an example. You can use one of these three, like, for example, and such as. As you see in the text, so we did the same. Now I need you to choose a popular snack food or traditional dish in your country, which is Iran, and write an article about it for a food website. Try to include a photo if you can. And for giving examples, I mean, if you want to give an example, you should try using these three uh, words, like expressions of words, like, for example, and such as. Okay, guys, this is the end of Unit 5, and I will see you in Unit 6.
Goodbye.